All right, guys. So today I want to talk about feeling because feeling is the way pretty much to anything and everything that we want. You know, we talk a lot about body image, nutrition, um, disordered eating, you know, all things that I have encountered and struggled with here, you know, along my life journey. And um, I just want to say welcome to all my new followers here. So today I want to talk about feeling. Okay, and I know for a lot of us who have struggled with disordered eating, binge eating, you know, uh, bulimia, you know, whatever shade you want to put here, it all comes down to slowing down and taking time to pause. You'll hear me talk about that pause a lot. So here's a tip that I recently have, you know, I've noticed Um, As I've really dove into my self-care routine in the mornings, like you guys will see me sitting in front of my red light. Um, I usually do that while I eat my breakfast. I no longer watch TV or have anything in front of me when I eat. So I'm really in just a peaceful, like rested state, focusing on savoring my food. Um, It allows me to slow down, chew thoroughly, which helps with digestion because like most of us are in get shit done mode all the time. Like if we seriously just took time to slow down and chew our food, that would solve probably 90% of our problems. Um, Just being cognizant, just in life in general. So like something that I've noticed has probably been the biggest thing to help me actually not overeat, feel when I'm full, be in tune with my body, you know, body, mind, and spirit. I sit in front of my red light while I eat. I eat alone 99% of the time. Um, I just notice that it helps me be more in tune and present with myself and what I need energetically, emotionally, physically in that moment. And I just enjoy my food. I slow down when I eat. I chew thoroughly. I enjoy my quiet time. You know, I may listen to like a podcast while I'm eating, but I don't like visually, I don't watch anything because I find my mind wanders and then you're not really present in that moment. And it's uh, harder to feel when you're actually full. Um, You know, so for those of us who are like volume eaters, I'm a volume eater. Like I can eat an asinine amount of food. Like it's crazy. So my history, like I was a binge eater. So I would eat lots and lots and lots of food. Um, and then I had bulimia. So like I would binge and purge. So I would throw up my food. So I, that's what kind of being a volume eater is. You can eat lots and lots and lots of food. And oftentimes you're like, why the fuck am I not full? Like it's hard to wrap your mind around it. It's because we just, we get lost in thought. We get distracted. We're not in tune with ourselves. We don't take time to pause. We don't chew our food thoroughly. Um, you know, we are stuck in this negative, like inner narrative, you know, you fuck up all the time. Um, you're never going to figure out your diet or your exercise or your life or all my relationships or shit or whatever you want to put here. Slow the fuck down guys. So when I sit and I enjoy my food, I will literally ask myself, whether out loud, in my head, whatever, okay, are you still savoring your food? If the answer is no, then I know I'm done. I know I'm full and I know that I'm done. And I will push my food away and then go about my day. Or I will ask myself, like if I feel like I'm having cravings for something specific, I will ask myself, Katie, what is it that you need right now in this moment? Are you thirsty? Are you truly hungry? When did you eat last? Are you tired? Have you gotten sleep? Like my schedules are crazy. I work in healthcare. I'm all over the place. I bounce from third shift to first shift. A lot of times I don't get as much sleep as I would like. You know, like these are all like physical responses to whatever we're doing in our lifestyle that are triggering our body. You know, when this happens you know, it affects your hormones. It affects everything, guys, your hunger, your satiety, like everything's tied together. You know, it affects your thoughts it affects your mental clarity. It affects your mood and the way you treat other people and yourself. Like take time to sit and ask yourself, what is it that's going on right now? What do I physically, mentally, emotionally need? Do I need more sleep and that's why I'm hungry? Did I just eat an hour ago? Okay, I did. So there's no way that I'm hungry. So this is just an urge. Like, Self-awareness is absolutely everything. So I want you guys to take time 
Try eating mindfully. Try eating by yourself. Yes, it may feel weird. All right. But I'm telling you, for most of us who have struggled with like disordered eating, because like this is the big topic, uh, topic of this conversation, do stuff alone. Like get in tune with yourself. Slow down. Like everything comes down to how we're feeling. If you're feeling good, so say, okay, I love nachos. I love nachos. I could eat them anytime. I love French fries. I love all these things too, guys. Like I'm, I'm human as well, but I know like I will ask myself before I eat something or do something, I will say, Katie, is this going to make you feel great? Or is this going to make you feel like shit? And this is why like, I don't drink excessively anymore. Like you guys may see me savor and like take sips of my bourbon and like, it's all fun and entertainment, but like, I'm not drinking like half of the bottle. When I go out, I'm not having typically more than one, maybe two if I'm pushing it, of cocktails. Because I know that if I do, I'm going to feel like shit. So ask yourself, is this going to make me feel good or is this going to make me feel bad? Because if you feel good, if you're doing things like self-care, walking, getting your workouts in, eating what you're supposed to, get your morning routine right, um, controlling your inner narrative and your mindset. If you're doing all these things and you're doing things to make yourself feel your best, guess what? Your life is going to look and be a lot different because you're doing things. You're being that person that you want to be. You're feeling the way that you want to feel. And when you're doing all of these things, like when you feel, you know, and you're doing these things, the inner matches the outside. The outside matches the inside. So you have to diet and live from the inside out, guys. So that's what I want you to ask yourself. Before you do something, get quiet. Take time to pause. Ask yourself what you truly need in that moment. Try to make sense of it. Don't get lost like in your head and all these thoughts. Thoughts are fleeting. All right. Feel in your heart like you know what's right. You know what the right decisions are. Okay. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope these tips helped you guys. I'm always here for y'all. Slide into those DMs if you need something. You know where to find me. Love you guys. Wish you the best of day. Bye.